This is Brent Time from Team Lucky 7 Gaming. Today I'm going to solve one simple problem for you. Performance in Arma 3. If you don't believe you're getting the performance you should in Arma 3, we're going to fix that with a few simple tips. Let's get into it. First, hit Start. Then go to Computer. Then to Documents. Double click the Arma 3 folder. Then there should be an Arma 3 CFG file. Right click it. Open with. Choose Notepad, Notepad++, WordPad, whatever you want to use. Once it's open, you want to, you're going to want to full screen it, and then there's two values you're going to change. GPU underscore max frames ahead equals 1, and then GPU underscore detected frames ahead equals 1. Your GPU max frames ahead probably equals 3. Make it equal 1. Your GPU underscore detected frames ahead probably equals 1,000. Make it equal 1. After that, hit File save. Once that's done, close it, close the next thing. Next you're going to want to get Razer Game Booster, which is quite simple actually. All you got to do is go to your internet browser, type in Razer Game Booster, and then download it. It's covered in one of my videos way back when. I'll put a link in the description below to it. You can find out how to do Razer Game Booster. I'm not going to show you here just because we want to save some time. Next, let's hop in game. I'll see you there. All right, now that we're in game, now we're getting around 30 FPS, and you got to remember, you've got to choose a server that's got good FPS, and that honestly is all server side based. Um, if they're gonna cap your FPS and all that such, and that just takes trial and error, and I really can't tell you any specific servers other than Midnight Gaming, but that's always full. But if you want to look for it, filter Midnight. That's it and you should find it. It will be the only one. Anyway, let's go ahead and hop in our settings. Now, I do not have Razer Game Booster on, and I am recording the game, so above 30 is really good right now. So we go to video, sampling 100%, texture, high, unless you have a lower computer, objects, low or standard, terrain, low or standard, shadow, disabled, particles, standard, cloud, disabled, PIP disabled, HDR low, dynamic lights low. Overall, the visibility 1915, 1900 or above, objects 900 or above, and then shadow really doesn't matter because they're disabled anyway. Display, VSync is disabled, and this is the only thing you're going to change if it's enabled. But let me explain why we're disabling it. So if you don't have above 60 FPS, then it really doesn't matter anyway because it's going to wait for the vertical sync and you're going to lose frames because of that. But if you are getting above 60 FPS and your monitor is bugging out and you want to fix that, just enable it. But you're probably not getting over 60 FPS. That's just me uh, guessing, assuming, making an ass out of you and me, of course. All right, Bloom, you want it zero in the uh, AAPP, so let me restart. Bloom, zero. Radial blur, zero. Rotation blur, zero. Depth of field, zero SSAO disabled caustics disabled now to anti-aliasing FSAA disabled which will disable ATOC automatically PPAA disabled and anastrophic filtering disabled now that's all the settings for that I will screenshot all of them and then put a link in the description below for all my settings in case you just didn't want to pause it or whatever but yeah that's basically it now if I wasn't recording and I had Razer Game Booster on, I'd probably be getting around 60 FPS on the server currently. Right now I'm getting 40 FPS. That's really good and that's completely playable and the game still looks really good. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'm not forcing you to. I'm not putting a gun to your head, but do it if you would like and uh, thank you for watching. Welcome to the Elder Scrolls Online What We Know So Far series. This episode covers combat. Let's get into it. In order for Elder Scrolls Online to be a success, combat will need to be perfectly mastered by